Well, James Craig was fired last night at about 4 p.m. Louisiana time. And uh, in less than 24 hours, Coach Ed Orgeron has hired his man, Coach Brad Davis, O-line coach at Arkansas. He's coming home. He's coming back home to Baton Rouge, where he is from. You know, this guy coached at Southern Lab for a time, came out of Bel Air High, you know, went and played four years at University of Oklahoma, was a Sooner. But uh, this, this is a guy who's coached on SEC staffs for the last, uh, since 2017. Coached at Florida for 2017, Missouri from 2018 to 2019. And last year, coached under Sam Pittman at Arkansas. A fantastic education to be doing that as well, to be coaching under, you know, the best offensive line coach in college football in Sam Pittman. And uh, that's what he was doing. You know, Brad Davis, he's also a hell of a recruiter. You know, I, as you can see in LSUodyssey.com's article that we just put out, you can see what he's been able to do on the recruiting trail, you know, working with very little at Missouri, at Arkansas, you know, working with very little there, and he still produced and pulled in, you know, the number three guard in the country, the number six guard in the country, pulled in all these, you know, four stars, and then when he was at Florida, when he had the increased access, the increased revenue, the increased uh, resources, he went out and he, he got f three four stars in that single 2017 class that he was a part of. Uh, that's, and the, they're all headlined by the number three guard in the nation. So, you know, he's done fantastic on the recruiting trail in SEC recruiting. So Brad Davis, you know, Louisiana Connections, SEC recruiting pedigree, both confirmed. What else will he bring to the LSU Tigers offensive line? You know, I think he's going to bring development big time. I, I, especially after what Arkansas were able to pull off last year. Especially after working even just a year under Sam Pittman. I really feel like Brad Davis, he, he, he's learning the tricks of the trade. He's been around the block. This guy, he's going to be ready for the challenge. He's welcoming the challenge. I think, I think he's anxious for this challenge. I think he wants it. I think he, I think he really wants this job bad. And um, you know, in less than 24 hours, Coach Orgeron pulls the trigger, gets Coach Davis in there. So you know, there was a lot of talk about uh from from you know some random people. Um, some people were saying that, uh, are you serious sports, a.k.a. Blake Ruffino, um, was going after Coach Ordron, um, for, for firing James Craig, and there was a lot of defending of James Craig on that post, and a lot of, just a lot of, uh, vague comments where you could tell that that, that, that fan was really pissed off at, uh, Coach Orgeron for, for getting rid of James Craig. Well, well, here's what I have to say to that. We have already upgraded our offensive line coaching position massively in less than 24 hours. We've gone from about a 5.5 out of 10 to now a solid 7.5 pushing 8, and that's before the guys even coached a down at LSU. I believe big time in Coach Davis. Not only because of you know the pedigree and the potential and the bodies he has to work with within that LSU offensive line group, some of whom are experienced and actually have a national championship on their finger. Uh, there's a lot of veterans there. There's a lot of youth there. I think now this group becomes like the linebackers were once we brought in Blake Baker. You know, you got a guy with the pedigree. You got a guy who has the know-how, and now. It's basically about just chiseling that clay, chiseling at that wood, molding at that clay, and uh, 
you know, figuring out who you've got, what they're capable of. And I'm just, Brad Davis has already recruited those 2022 kids really hard. He did a hell of a job in recruiting 2020, 2021, 2020 for Arkansas. I think, um, I think he's going to do a fantastic job. Welcome, Coach Davis.